Hi guys, welcome back to today's vlog again. So for this video reaction, let's go to our favorite country, which is Russia. Privyat and spasiba to our Russian friends. How are you all guys? They're doing fantastic and amazing. And the title of this video, and this is our part two of the history of Russia. I hope guys will be having fun and enjoy watching with this one. And read it to the owner also with the video to Epic History TV. I'll put in the description box below so that you can connect also with the owner of the video. And if you're new to my channel, just click on subscribe button, click on notification bell so that you'll be updated on our future uploads. And if it's some comments and suggestions related to this video or any Russian videos, artists that you can suggest, drop it comment section. I'd love to read and respond to you all and make your video request. I really want you to turn on the CC down there for your Russian, English, and whatever language that you want to choose. This is such a nice video because we love to hear some comments about the Russian. Because on my part one, there are like a balance that there are Russians that don't agree with the video, most of the video, and then there are people also will agree. So I really want to hear also with you your reasons at the comment section. That's why I continue this uh, part two. There are Russians and there are people want me to see also and they really want to watch with my video reaction on the part two because Russian history is like so rich that you really want to know. It's like huge and broad that you really want to understand more so that we will be watching in our part two if there are mistakes on the video just uh, write in the comment sections and if there are good write in the comment section whatever it is that you can write that if there is wrong if there is like something good about the video just write it i would love to listen with you and let's get to it enjoy guys wow. In 1612, Russia was in a state of anarchy. They called it the Time of Troubles. The people were terrorized by war, famine and plague. Up to a third of them perished. Foreign troops occupied Moscow, Smolensk and Novgorod. But then Russia fought back. Prince Pozharsky and a merchant, Kuzma Minin, led the Russian militia to Moscow and threw out the Polish garrison. Uh -huh. Since 2005, this event has been commemorated every 4th of November as wow. Russian National Unity Day. So it's coming. 4th of November or 14th? Wow. At least you always remember those special times. The Russian Assembly, the Zemsky Sabor, realized the country had to unite behind a new ruler and elected a 16-year-old noble, Mikhail Romanov, as the next Tsar. As young, His years. dynasty would rule Russia for the next 300 years. Tsar Mikhail exchanged territory for peace, winning Russia much-needed breathing space. His son, Tsar Alexei, implemented a new legal code, the Sabornoya Ulugenya. It that? turned all Russian peasants, 80% of the population, into serfs, effectively oh. slaves, their status inherited by their children and with no freedom to travel or choose their master. Oh my God. It was a system that dominated Russian rural life for the next 200 years. Oh my God, that's sad. The head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Patriarch Nikon, imposed religious that reforms that split the church between reformers and old believers. It's a schism that continues to this day. Ukrainian Cossacks, rebelling against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, recognized Tsar Alexei as overlord in exchange for his military support. It led to the Thirteen Years' War between Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Slow. Russia emerged victorious, reclaiming Smolensk and taking control of eastern Ukraine. 
a revolt against Tsarist government, led by a renegade Cossack, Stenka Razin, brought anarchy Samara. to southern Russia. It was finally suppressed. Razin was brought to Moscow and ex by quartering. The sickly but highly educated Fyodor III passed many reforms. He abolished Mesnichestva, the system that had awarded government posts according to nobility rather than merit, and symbolically burned the ancient books of rank. But Fyodor died aged just 19. His sister Sophia became princess regent, ruling on behalf of her younger brothers, the joint Tsars Ivan V and Peter I. After centuries of conflict, Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth signed a Treaty of Eternal Peace. Russia then joined the Holy League in its war against the Ottoman Empire. Sophia's reign also saw the first treaty between Russia and China, establishing the frontier between the two states. Why on this time Peter At age Peter 17, Peter I seized power from his half-sister Sophia. Peter became the first Russian ruler to travel abroad. Wow. He toured Europe with his grand embassy, seeking allies for Russia's war against Turkey, I and learning the latest developments in science and shipbuilding. The war against Turkey was successfully concluded by the Treaty of Constantinople. Wow. Russia gained Azov from Turkey's ally, the Crimean Khanate, and with it, a foothold on the Black Sea. Amazing. Peter made many reforms, seeking to turn Russia into a modern European state. Wow. He demanded Russian nobles dress and behave like Europeans. He made those who refused to shave pay a beard tax. <laughs> Peter built the first Russian navy, reformed the army and government, and promoted industry, I trade find it is and very education. Smart. In the Great Northern War, Russia, Poland, Lithuania, and Denmark took on the dominant power in the Baltic. Wow. Sweden. The war began badly for Russia, with a disastrous defeat to Charles XII of Sweden at Narva. Sweden was but very Russia strong. won a second Battle of Narva, second battle. before crushing Charles XII's army at the Battle of Poltava. On the Baltic coast, Peter completed construction of a new capital, St. Petersburg. The building of what would become Russia's second largest city among coastal marshes was a remarkable achievement, though it cost the lives of many thousands of serfs. That's sad. The Great Northern War this ended with famous. the Treaty of Nystad. Russia's gains at Sweden's expense made it the new dominant Baltic power. Oh, Four years before his death, Peter was declared Peter the Great, father of his country, emperor of all the Russias. Wow. He deserved, he deserved those names. The four empresses. Peter was succeeded by his wife, Catherine. Then his grandson, Peter II, who died of smallpox, aged just 14. Empress Anna Yanavna daughter of Peter the Great's half-brother, Ivan V, was famed for her decadence and the influence of her German lover, Ernst Biron. During Anna's reign, Vitus Bering, a Danish explorer in Russian service, led the first expedition to chart the coast of Alaska. He also discovered the Aleutian Islands and later gave his name to the sea that separates Russia and America. This is After Anna's death, her infant grandnephew Ivan VI was deposed by Peter the Great's daughter Elizabeth. This way, four Ivan VI spent his entire life in captivity, 
until, age 23, he was murdered by his guards during a failed rescue attempt. Oh my God. that's sad. Elizabeth, meanwhile, was famed for her vanity, extravagance, and many young lovers. But she was also capable of decisive leadership. In alliance with France and Austria, Elizabeth led Russia into the Seven Years' War against Frederick the Great of Prussia. The Russian army inflicted a crushing defeat on Frederick at the Battle of Kunersdorf, but failed to exploit its victory. Meanwhile, in St. Petersburg, the Winter Palace was completed at vast expense. It would remain the monarch's official residence right up until the Russian Revolution of 1917. Peter III was Peter the Great's grandson by his elder daughter Anna Petrovna, who died as a consequence of childbirth. Raised in Denmark, Peter spoke hardly any Russian, and greatly admired Russia's enemy, Frederick the Great. So he had Russia swap sides in the Seven Years' War, saving Frederick from almost certain defeat. Peter's actions angered many army officers, and he'd always been despised by his German wife, Catherine. Together, they deposed Peter III, who died a week later in suspicious circumstances. His wife, Catherine, became Empress of Russia. Her reign would be remembered as one of Russia's most glorious. Oh. Epic History TV depends on donations from its fans through its Patreon page. Please click the link to find out how you can pledge as little as $1 per video. That was like very nice video once again for epic history. Understanding the history of how it was chronologically ordered and it was so amazing and I know some of our Russian friends would uh, disagree of what the narrations or what the video was and I really want to hear also with you what is the wrong with the video what which part that you disagree because I enjoyed it it's so interesting the way it was like a uh, mention from those uh, from the kings and the emperors and it was like chronological it was well arranged in the time and how it was like uh, discovered from city to city and then now I know that St. Peter birds were killed incredible way this is amazing this is so interesting I love to listen the way because it's like so educational that you really want this video to be in school to be taught in school also that history should not be forgotten because this is the war that started this is how our nation got built up by those people who truly stand and fought to get that uh, country, to get that city also. And I love it. I enjoyed it so much because it find me like more knowledge and additional more knowledge. And I want to listen with you guys at the comment section. What are your thoughts with regards to this video? And if you enjoy this video and if you do and if you like this video, guys, same as I did, just give a massive thumbs up. Like and share, subscribe also with my channel. This is Junris Plaga the React saying stay humble, so positive, guys. You can connect my social media account is in here. You can connect my second channel in the description box below. Thank you so much for being and spasiba to our Russian friends. Have a good day everyone. Bye bye. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. God bless po and see you in my next video reaction.